So Dyson came out with a new hair tool. It's a new attachment for flyaways. That sounds incredible. That's why my hair looks like this. So hopefully my hair can look something very smooth, very sleek and with no flyaways. <laughs> Let's do it. I am going to rough dry my hair. I don't really want to use the ice, the Dyson Air Wrap, like the round brush or the smoothing brush, just because I really want to see what this little bad boy is made from. Is it really going to get rid of most of my flyaways and really smooth and sleek my hair out? And we are going to compare side to side. So this right here, this is their flyaway attachment. It's $39.99. And this is the attachment for the Dyson Supersonic hair dryer. Let's quickly give my hair a rough dry. Okay, so this is my rough dry and you can see that it's not looking super sleek. It's not looking extra shiny and smooth, especially like from the mids to the, to the ends of my hair. So I wanna see if we can really give my hair that sleekness and that smooth, overall look. So we're gonna do the left side and we're gonna compare it to the right. I'm not gonna do anything to the right because I wanna see what we can accomplish on the left side. So it has to go like this, like down, because this is where the airflow and this is where the hair is going to attach. So how this attachment works, it basically lifts your longer hairs, therefore hiding your flyaways like underneath your longer hair, which is so fascinating. It kinda, it's kinda mind blowing, honestly. I think you have to like use it like this. It's kind of awkward using it in my left hand. <laughs> they recommend using the highest airflow, but lower heat settings for normal to medium hair. If you have very thick hair, use higher heat setting. But if you have fine hair like myself, use a high, high flow and then the cool shot or just no heat at all. Highest airflow, no heat. Oh my gosh, look at how sleek my hair looks and looks shiny versus this side. I mean, this side also looks good, but this one is just smooth. Basically what it does, it, you, you saw that I was holding it towards the very top. I waited a little bit for the hair to attach itself to this part right here. And it basically kind of sucks and holds the hair down. But you also could see the shorter pieces are kind of flying away. They're picking and they're kind of going like underneath the longer pieces, which is so fascinating. I don't think it's exactly what I expected. Like I can still see like some of my hairs like right here, like all these, like the new growth, like the baby hair that has grown out a little bit. Like it's still kind of sticking out, but it's more managed, like even towards the top. Like it's more smooth and it's more even. Like I said, I'm using the highest airflow, 
but no heat because my hair is pretty much dry. Maybe we could do one heat, see if that makes a difference. Let's try it. Wow, that's actually really smooth. Like I'm pretty impressed for like after my rough dry that my hair can look this smooth. I mean, that looks pretty good. We can see a pretty good difference. Like this side just looks a little more smooth and even versus this side still looks a little more fluffy and just not as sleek <laughs> and smooth. But I think this right here is like a good attachment once you're done styling your hair, whatever you're doing, if you're doing like a blowout and then you just wanna go over like the top sections. I think that's when it's gonna work the best, especially if you already have naturally curly hair and you give yourself a really good blowout if you have thicker hair or if you just have really frizzy hair in general. I think this will be a good last step to kind of like seal everything in. It's definitely not for a look like this where you just like rough dry. I mean, you can definitely see a huge difference, like even towards the ends, like they look a little more sleek and smooth and not just crazy and you know, like no shape happening, but it's not gonna get rid of every single flyaway. Like I still see my flyaways right here. Like you see that, right? I do. Like it's 
yeah, it's kind of just chilling there. Like this, I would have to use a round brush to really kind of brush and style my hair through and then go with this right here. I think that's what I wanna do and I wanna see if it's gonna help and we're gonna do it on this side right here. So I'm gonna give my hair a quick little blowout using my air wrap, the round brush. And I tend to get a lot of flyaways and just frizz after this if I don't control it in the right way. So let's give it a go. I mean, it's going to do a really good job towards the bottom, but you'll see a little bit of frizz happening right here, especially with my baby hairs that are regrowing and they're a lot shorter. <laughs> There's a lot of them, <laughs> my entire head. They're like a good maybe three, four inches long now. I mean, you can kind of see it, like all the little, like you see those, all those little, little hairs peeking through. Like it looks thick right here. <laughs> Okay, so I did a quick like rough blowout using the round brush with the air wrap. And you can see that it provided a pretty sleek, smooth finish in the end. But I feel like I would wanna go over with this right here afterwards to like really smooth and sleek it out if that's the look I was trying to go for. So I'm gonna say again, I think this tool is great for people that are giving themselves a blowout, but then they want that extra step to really give that shiny effect and really smooth finish. Cause this, it's actually really good for smooth and super shiny afterwards. Like my hair, I feel like it's super, super shiny. Oh my goodness. Like more shiny on this side than this side. I mean, it's pretty shiny on both sides, but I feel like on this side with just a rough dry and then this on top, I was actually pretty impressed that it did that good of a job. But I think if you're thinking this is gonna get rid of all of your flyaways, it's not gonna happen. Like I still see them right here, you know? Like I still see the flyaways. I kinda wanna try it on this side, just on the top and see what it's gonna look like. Yeah, it's a great finishing tool. It just kind of locks everything in. Oh yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> Overall, if you already have the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer, I honestly would pick up this attachment. It's $39.99, and I think it's a great finishing tool. I can't stress that enough. It's a finishing tool. It's not like a whole tool on its own where you can just create styles with it. It's a great finishing tool to really sleek, give your hair that sleek, shiny moment. You know, but if you don't have the hair dryer and you're just wanting to get that attachment and then the hair dryer, I think it just depends on what kind of hair you have and what kind of styles you gravitate towards. If you definitely gravitate towards like a really sleek, smooth blowout, then I think you'll really enjoy it. But otherwise, yeah, I think you don't need it. I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see you next one very soon. Bye.